Ah, that, yes. The group prior to yours has disappeared entirely. It's possible that there was less than the necessary amount of oversight. That's still being looked into. But we've had no contact with them for quite some time now. Arniel wondered if perhaps they'd somehow managed to get themselves lost in the Outer Realms. But I think that's giving them too much credit. I'm not sure. None of them were working on anything terribly dangerous. As I recall, Yisra was trying to improve flame cloak spells to better work in Skyrim's harsh environment. Elos Tai was practicing illusion spells. She was having trouble with the calm spells, I believe, but only ever worked with skeevers. And then there's Borvir and Rundi, twins, though they rarely agreed on anything. Those two boys were obsessed with mead, convinced they could concoct something to compete with hunting brew. Something about using frost magic to chill the mead for a certain period of time. I felt it was a waste, but the Archmage let them proceed. Ah, that, yes. The group prior to yours has disappeared in time. It's possible that they were... But we've had no con... Arniel wondered if perhaps they'd somehow managed to get themselves lost in the Outer Realms. But I think that's giving them too much credit. I hadn't really considered it in terms of time. I suppose it's been at least a month. Let me think. What were they working on? As I recall, Yisra was trying to improve flame cloak spells to better work in Skyrim's harsh environment. Elos Tai was practicing illusion spells. She was having trouble with the calm spells, I believe, but only ever worked with skeevers. And then there's Borvir and Rundi, twins, though they rarely agreed on anything. Those two boys were obsessed with mead, convinced they could concoct something to compete with hunting brew. Something about using frost magic to chill the mead for a certain period of time. I felt it was a waste, but the Archmage let them proceed. Now if you'll excuse me.